It is the 15th of July. This is Doc's Office Hours Asia. Topics on the agenda today, action items, news, upcoming change log, look and feel improvements for the Jenkins website, a status report on Google Summer of Code, longstanding pull requests and progress there, and more details on modernizing a plugin. Meg, anything else that you'd like to add? That'll do it. And I'm going to abandon you about 20 minutes early. Okay. Well, and and I think we we'll, let's go through these items, see which ones are of interest to us and which ones we can just skip over. No okay. progress on action items. Sorry about that. News. We released a new LTS this week. Wonderful. And we released a new weekly. The weekly still requires Java 11, no Java 8 support, and the September baseline will also require Java 11. Now, it one item all on Java 17, it will just support Java 17 for other purposes. Uh, no, it also it also will supports. We already support Java 17, so okay. Well, I I never know what exactly we mean by when you say it supports Java. So I I can install Jenkins on top of Java 17. Now. You absolutely can. So it requires and, Java 11 or 17, could you just say? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, we weren't, I wasn't sure that we would get the Java 17 thing in, but it turned out we did. Oh, goody. And oddly enough, the the stories are a little, um, a little surprising there. We're finding the person who's been leading the Java, Java 17 work, Basil Crow, has found that Java 17 is actually has been on two or three occasions a source of a backport to fix a problem in Java 11 that affected us. Oh, so so it turns out Java 17 actually looks a little better than Java 11. Yeah. So now one more news item. Uh, I may need to cancel our meeting in two weeks because I'll be in Los Angeles at the Southern California Linux Expo that night. Okay. And uh, and Kosuke Kawaguchi will be there. Oh, wow. Please give him my greetings. I will. I will certainly tell him you said hello. I still get, uh, I get to follow his exploits on uh, Facebook, which is fun. Oh, good. Yeah, so he and Alyssa and I will be there. I'd Great. And love to Alyssa too. I need to drop her. I, I will certainly tell her you said hello. So However, next things time. go sour there, we really need her at a Dino Trace. <laughs> oh, I we, certainly will we, not. We've tell got her all that. these conferences and they can't figure how to get the swag out. It's just hysterical. And I'm sitting there. I have no idea. Call Alyssa. <laughs> I I will certainly not tell her that. She reports <laughs> to me, and there is no possible way I will say that to her. <laughs> so all right. Next topic was Jenkins 2.346.3 change log. Okay. Um, we don't have a release lead yet, so the release lead hasn't been identified, nor have any backports. Release date is scheduled. It's August 10, and so about July 28 is when we'll need the uh, change log. Just a reminder that it's coming. Okay. Now, next topic, I've got a cool demo to show you. This okay. one we've got to see. So here's the, this is a pull request from, um, here, I forget his actual name, Priyanshu Singh, who has submitted a pull request to improve the look and feel of the Jenkins UI, Jenkins.io site. Uh -uh. And so let's take a look at the environment to give you a sense of how it looks. Oh my, oh, I like blue so much better than orange. So he's got my heart already. Exactly, it's, it's a, this is a very, a very, very elegant, nice, Nice layout. And when we go to any other page, the bar shrinks. Oh. And so it's it's still every bit as readable on the other pages. I think it's much more readable than in the old one. That white on dark blue is very nice. Yeah, and that's 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 I think very attractive. Now, right now we've got one open item, which is the plugin site needs to reuse the markup from the, the primary site. Right. 
And it, Gavin Mogan attempted to use the, this new layout and something went wrong. So uh -huh. we won't merge it yet, but it looks very attractive. Now, there was one change that I've asked for. It was that what he did was in order to give a visual separation, he moved the, the thing we call the jumbotron one slot lower. Ah. And my problem is that is, that means the jumbotron is now below the fold. Yep. And I, we want this thing because it's the thing that moves. We want it above the fold. fold. Right. So he's proposing, hey, he'll try to put it back. And then we can compare it to see why he didn't he didn't care for it in the in the upper position because it didn't give any separation between the top segment of the page and the jumbotron. Uh, and, and, and I understand that, right? This is a, a visual thing. And the question is, what what visual look do we want? Right. You know, really, I don't I don't care. And I have no aesthetic background at all. Um, the color of the documentation, that blue on there, I don't really like that blue against the other blue or the red that's there, the buttons what? up at the top. Sorry, oh, you mean these over no, here? No, 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 underneath the, the blurb about Ukrainian people. Oh, oh, okay, wait a sec, so Yeah, right, this... right where your arrow was, right where your okay, arrow Okay, right was. there, that. that. That blue, and that red, I find really glaring. Ah, okay, blue. so so the, the download button, you might prefer a different color. And there maybe just a different color, I'm not a red person anyhow, but though, you know, the artists have the color wheels, there are, blues and reds that go together and ah uh, okay and to me and the documentation is towards the turquoise the teal mm -hmm. and it's it isn't that it clashes it just isn't pleasant well and and now i i looking at it as you mention it it's would it be better if it were in this color of that's on this icon that might be better yeah or interesting idea or the color of the dark blue too or look at this one Maybe that's yeah. the see now that looks nice. Yeah, so maybe it is that we take that color and put it behind the documentation. Although the other is what if what if the big button there, I guess I guess it's probably good for that big button to be there because that is just this button. Uh-huh. Right. Or no, is it? What what where does it go? It goes uh, not quite. It's where is it? It goes. I don't, I'm not sure how to get to that button. Oh, it goes to, no, huh, that's interesting. So it takes us to a whole overview concept that isn't directly accessible from there. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. Though I'm not sure that maybe, maybe it should be, this may highlight another navigation thing. Maybe it should be that this button is going to the exact right location. And this should go to that same location because this table of contents thing is not terribly useful. Right. It's already over here on the left, right? right? So it doesn't help us much. So maybe let me make myself a note here that we just discovered a navigation flaw. All right, so. Although I, I might be, I don't know, this is off the top of my head, so I might change my mind. But what you do at the top, is almost like a quick reference for experienced people to jump to it faster. Uh -huh. And this one might, I don't know if this, you know, the full thing for somebody who's coming in brand new, if this, you know, if landing where you're landing from the big blue button is uh -huh. a better place to land. I'm not. Good, I'm not good sure. question. Good point. Yeah. So maybe we leave it. I, yeah. or or do something else because the thing at the top is is clearly good for regular experienced users who just want to get to something right now, this is very fast navigation right it I, is when... now if i am brand new if i am jenkins curious mm -hmm. and i'm just starting to explore well i might skip to tutorials or something but if i hit that big blue button I don't know if I see anything that really tells me. I almost, if I went, if I go in there, what is Jenkins about this documentation? I almost want a path. What well, see, I see, for me, I was thinking, I see this page, 
And then I can immediately choose things from the user handbook. Right. Or the tutorials. And so for me, it, it presents pretty clearly where I go next. And I, I would naturally gravitate towards these or these. But, but I, I think you got an interesting question. What's the, what's the better way? Is this something better for experts who say, show me everything so I can search for it? Right. And you know, the darndest thing, we're old people. We still are used to books so that you need to know it. Do right. you know what the real link is? It's up in the upper right. It says search. It's that little white box. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Good point. So yeah, it's but it is it is something to think about. I mean, do we need the double things? And if we do, what's the purpose of each one? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, what's the right solution? But good. But we may be obsessing over things that don't matter anyhow. So well, so I, but I want to grab, I want to grab a picture of what you were suggesting and, and include it in the, the pull request feedback, because I think, I think you've got a good point that this, okay, so now let's see, let's save that. Um, Prefer another blue and red or download button. And yeah. Oh, for well, you want blue for different blue for documentation and download. I think both of those colors are. And then, uh, yeah, so less jarring red. Yeah. I'm not, the problem is I have no color sense, so. I don't have much other than I and I'm. And I'm really obnoxious because there's a few colors that I really, really hate. Ah, okay. And like orange and pink. Right. So let me grab questions. this one. I, my sense is you need some, tell them to pull out their color wheel and find, you know, find a blue and red that look better with that. I love that. I love the color of the black. It's actually, it's not a solid color. It changes, but whatever they call that. Right, right. That gradient. Yes. Yeah, the gradient. That's the word. I love the looks of that. Agreed. Yep. Okay. There's also something that with red, like you have to be careful in some cultures. Reds have ramifications or something. Oh, okay. Interesting. I, I mean, for the Chinese, it's really good, but that's an ugly red. Okay, so let me. But all in all, with no changes, big improvement. Oh, yeah, very nice. Okay. And so some additional area, a few additional, additional items for your consideration. Let's see. So here very nice blue on the uh, register for uh, DevOps world. Uh -huh. but, so let's start with the positive. Yeah. Very nice blue here. And now we bring up like the color of the register button. All right. And then less attractive color. on the it was documentation and what was what was the other one download download button right yeah. okay so thank you thanks for thanks for helping with this um, right. more, can we go back and look at the page one more time when you get this done absolutely I have one other thought that I don't know if I think it or not. Okay. Which, um, what? I am one that stuff that's at the top, Jenkins, build great things at any scale, really. And then the Ukrainian, I mean, totally in favor of it, strongly, et cetera, watching poor Oleg suffer through this. But 
what if the jumbotron were up there and this were underneath the other stuff? What if you flipped with the jumbotron in this? See, for me, I, I would hesitate to do that because I think this message, build great things at any scale, is more important than any one of the messages we put down here. Maybe, yeah. Or, but, or break it up. I mean, yeah, you could have that. And well, we do have a documentation and download button at the top, but that might be something. But I don't know what it. What if we had Jenkins, the the butler with this flag, and the documentation and download buttons a little bit smaller and over to the left, and the Jumutron next to it. Um, interesting idea. Well, okay. I'm not or, sure, and I I'm not good at this. I'm just. Well, uh, maybe. What what if? It's an interesting thought. Let me take a slight angle on what you're, you're saying. What if instead of, what if this, this, this here, this section and the picture were one of the Jumbotron images? Oh. So it rotated through, in this case, four things, right? Uh-huh. Now the, the challenge is that then may mislead people in that they don't realize what they they arrive and think oh the top page is jenkins stories and but but it might be the thing if we put this stop the war and this text in a jumbotron entry and then move the jumbotron to the top right hmm. i mean i'm looking if you like this is freeze i open it until I start scrolling, this is what I see. Right. And there's exactly. nothing there that's that important. Right, and right. Even the, to build great things at any scale, I don't really, I have to start reading before I see that. Uh huh. Yeah, um, I think I think it's an interesting thought. Should we should we merge the jumbotron? Yeah, I'm not sure how to express it to to the creator of the pull request because. I'll take I'll take this pull request already if we can get it working without combining things. Right, absolutely. It's already it's already such a nice improvement. Mm -hmm. But and, uh, the impression I get too from is that I mean, people have changed. There's a whole epistemological change. People like things that are constantly changing and moving. And but I get to that page and it's just static mm -hmm. and not all that interesting, really. Right, right. Um, and I'm one who goes for the pros, and most people today are not. Correct. Yeah, but but if if we converge them, then that would move up this this video segment to right underneath the the navigation choices. Uh huh. Although these aren't navigable. Oh, interesting. Okay, so. I may need to think about that because I was expecting these to be clickable. Yeah. But, but then again, maybe not. I mean, those are features more than they are. Yeah. yeah, I actually, they're kind of waste of space, aren't they? Well, if, if, if I can't navigate with them, I got to wonder, okay, what are they doing there? But we had them there before. Okay, maybe we should make them navigable. Maybe we should make them clickable links. Yeah. But but even then, um, I don't know. I mean, if if I already know Jenkins, they're not you. They're not interesting. Not at all, right? If I'm if I'm a Jenkins novice, okay, everything says. Have you ever gone to a web page that says this is really tough to install, but you're going to love it when you're done? Right. No. Everything is easy installation. It's usually a lie. Right. Um, it, if you want to, if you want something that does anything powerful, there's an easy installation that you know is happy mm, path. Right. Easy configuration. Give me a friggin' break. Well, now come on, it's a lot better than it, than cruise control was. Okay. Um yeah, if I want to run a hello world, yeah, on you know, a single server, yeah, that's probably easy configuration. Um but 
but it's distributed. Everything's distributed. We don't say it runs in the cloud. That's the other thing that, that's the watchword. What do you mean? I mean, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a waste. Well, I, I think, I think you raise a good point that maybe it's time to revisit this, this section of the top level page and say, Hey, what, what messages should we be telling there? Because it doesn't under distributed tell about the cloud solutions. It doesn't talk about Docker and, and about, um, so Docker and Helm and uh, yeah, Kubernetes, Kubernetes and right. Um, and all that good stuff. Yeah. So, so plenty to improve here. Right. I mean, there's, well, what happens? Um, click the download button. Does, okay. If you click download, does it just start downloading? No, no, no. no. It good. takes you to, it takes, because there, there are just too many choices there. And, right. and there's information you need to, you need to have. You know, so that's because I was thinking, yeah, that's what I was thinking though. If, so if you made the easy installation, a link into the installation, would you take it into the installation documentation or would you take it to the download page? Uh, this one, I would take it to this page personally. Yeah. Now, maybe that's not friendly enough, right? But that, because there are. Well, in some ways, that's friendlier than the download page. But it. Probably... Yeah. I don't know. It's um, somebody that I work with here that I really, really like. Um, is but he posed that we said we were starting with you know captain which people don't know mm -hmm. but he's like he said let's just stick back and say i heard the term captain someplace and i came here to find something so the first thing i want is a snazzy one-liner that grabs my attention right and then you know going on and then i want a little more description about what it can do and then maybe i want a little friendly tutorial we're loving Killer Coda, by the way, both the company and the technology. Oh, um, good. And and then I have a little hands-on that that's kind of simple, but it goes through. Um, and we he did well. We worked together. We were good. At, but there's like it takes three minutes to get get kept and all installed and set up in your little environment. And there's stuff in the left frame that you can read some concepts and what the pieces are and what we're going to do. You know, you can do nice things with that. I do that. And then I want to go on to how I install it for real for myself, you know, but he said, like, try to think about that whole path. Mm. Think about somebody who's coming because we don't have experienced users really yet. We've, you know, it's the pro the, the technology is two years old. So. Right. Right. It's, it's, it's brand new tech. Right. And, and so overwhelmingly, but we've got people coming and, you know, but just to sit back and think, but the Jenkins is of course much more mature and much more, but if I'm, and then, but think about, I hate all this stuff about personas because it's always done by the marketing people and it's always crap. But but if you think about that, if I'm brand new to Jenkins, I keep hearing about Jenkins, I say, let me go look at it. What do I want to see? What do I need in order? And part with all of this stuff, there's tons of information here and I don't know what to read first. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. I when I started out user guide, what I'm thinking about end user, I'm thinking, what? how does my mother access Jenkins? Mm -hmm. We may, you know, for then we just have user guide is some, you know, building a pipeline to build your stuff, which is, you know, not exactly what I think of as user, but we liked it. So we called it that, you know, but, but even, you know, there, there, I don't see a place here at the top that said, if you're interested in setting Jenkins up, because the, uh, there's another thing, I just took a new job at a place that uses Jenkins or I'm interviewing. And right. I want to quickly get an oversight. So I don't have to install anything. It's already up and running. Mm -hmm. I've got to quickly introduce how I'm going to build, make pipelines with it, how I'm going to use it. There's no place here that says, you know, if you want to learn how to build Jenkins pipelines, go here. If you know, there's no happy path. There's just the documentation, which is huge. And some of it's good and some of it's crap. Yeah, right. an interesting... An interesting exercise mm -hmm. but on the other hand having said this if this went up like this right now it's a huge improvement cool 
I should shut up. We've got more agenda. Well, I think actually we're 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 approaching the end for your time, and we've covered most important things. I think that's let's call this done for today because I think we've got good feedback what we've provided to to Priyanshu. Um, let's and, do a quick um, for the recording, and because I'm curious and nosy, um, the update on GSOC because you're coming up. Oh, oh, phase sure. Phase one ends on Monday, right? Uh, actually. Yeah, I don't remember when phase one ends, but yeah, so we're we're at the midpoint or very it's near July the July 25th. So there's yeah. Okay. So we've got a new addition to the Jenkins pipeline page that this doesn't scroll. Oh. The left hand navigation, the table of contents stays put. Yay. And we've got search on the pipeline steps reference page. So when I look for checkout. Or if I look for milestone, instead of having to search with browser search like this, where it's terribly painful, the example for me is this one. When I search here with checkout, I have to search one, two, three, four. It's not until the fourth that I find what I want. And I, I just did multiple clicks. Whereas if I use the page search, the built in search inside the page, Oops, here we go. Built-in search inside the page. Check out. It is on page. And I see what the options are. Sometimes, because I go to the fourth one, it's like, well, maybe the second one was what I wanted. Right, exactly. It's, oh, I was looking for API. And which of these APIs is important? Oh, I want something about Apache. No, well, that's interesting. How about HTTP? <laughs> There. All right. Yeah. So, so very, very nice work that Bihan has done. And in addition, he's created a, a new component that may re, be reusable in the future as part of the REST API generator. That's been a long time project idea that we've never been able to get to. Oh, wow. Very so, yeah. nice work. Very, very cool. All right. Any other topics you want to be sure we get to today? And have, have you just got one, one G sucker? Oh no, no. We've got three other projects. Oh, okay. So in addition, in addition to those, we've got one on Jenkins File Runner. We've got one on um, the plugin health score system. Oh. And we've got one on Git cache maintenance improvement, maintenance. Fabulous. Yeah, so it's, it's I'm, I'm excited about all of them. Good, so good. Session next Thursday to present them. Fabulous. All right. Well, let's let's call this done then, Meg. I don't want to make you late for your next meeting. Not at all. And thanks very much. And well, thank you. Kudos to your people doing good work. Excellent. Take care. Well, maybe we'll talk next week and maybe not, right? Uh, next week will be fine. It's the following week. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Two weeks. Okay, cool. Right. So next week we'll talk for sure. <laughs>